I'm Sherry Martin. Tonight on Heart of the Home, my guest, two really good gospel singers that look like a quarterback and a cheerleader, uh, Miss Brittany Timms and Mr. Melton Campbell. I know if you love gospel music, you know Melton Campbell, who had the number six song in the nation last year, I'm Not Ashamed, as you sang with the right. inspirations, right? And Miss Brittany, honey, if you haven't seen her sing, you've missed a treat because you are an up-and-coming gospel singer, too. Thank right? You. Right. She's really good. I enjoyed her Saturday night. And um, today, they're here to help me. You were a quarterback in high school, mm -hmm. and you're as pretty as any cheerleader I've ever seen. I understand you're in the band, but today you're my cheerleader. So, works for us. Um, we're going to do a simple recipe that you would have when you have um, tailgating parties. If you have a motor home, you can keep this hot in a crock pot or when you invite company over. And everybody knows, I have a 15 year old who tells me, mama, you're pulling for the wrong team. The Colts can never win because of the Bears defense. I don't care what Nicholas says, the Colts are gonna win. So <laughs> That's right. we are pulling for the Colts. Um, this recipe is called Donovan's Dip and it's something we make every year when it's Super Bowl time. It's so simple, it has so few ingredients. The ingredients for Donovan's Dip are a large block of Velveeta cheese melted and sauteed ground beef with chopped onion and a medium jar of salsa. And I do like medium. If you don't like medium, use mild. If you like hot, use hot. This is another one of those recipes that you can improvise. My buddy Melton doesn't like chili. On occasion, we add chili to this recipe. So, you know, use your own taste, do what your family likes, but keep it simple. I wish we had a football here, don't you? Love to have a football. Well, the first time he came to my house, you actually came and mm -hmm. threw passes with Nicholas out in the pasture, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Sure yeah, did. Yeah, I remember that. That was a good day. And uh, Melton happens to have green eyes like I do, and Nicholas have, has green eyes, and we kind of look like we might belong to each other. We don't, but we kind of look like we don't? it. We don't. We do. Oh. I adopted you. That's right. <laughs> okay, guys, we're going to throw this recipe together, and I promise you, simple, simple. We've already browned our ground beef, chopped the onions. Did you chop the onions? <laughs> I didn't think you did. <laughs> you don't smell like onions I'm not crying, today. Am I? No. no. Now, on occasion, you have smelled like garlic, but today you don't smell like onions because we had a sidekick help us with the onions, right? And you don't smell like onions, so you weren't the sidekick. No. No, okay. Now we're going to throw this together. Remember, it's just Velveeta cheese, ground beef, and onions, and salsa. Melton, you add the ground beef. Okay, now Melton, you add about half that ground beef because we cooked a little bit more ground beef. We're gonna use part of it for another recipe. So there you go. That about good? That's good. Now Britt, will you add the salsa to that? Yes. How simple is this? And we have a little crock pot we always keep this in um, to keep it hot and serve it hot. And now I have this new little fangle thing that my kids got me for Christmas. It's a mini steam table. And this is one of the pans off of it, so while we're working on other things, you can just keep this on the steam table. We're going to stick this in the oven now, and it will get hot and bubbly, and then we will serve it with the WOW chips. I think the WOW chips have like zero trans fats, and I think they're pretty good for you. Now this is going to take about 20 minutes to be hot and bubbly, and we're going to serve that with the um, WOW chips. Easy. And if you want to do a side salad, there you go. You've almost got a meal. Well, Donovan's dip is ready. It looks great. We're going to try it. I've learned one thing about football. The best looking thing on the field is the quarterback. And the worst looking thing is the defensive lineman. Yeah. Okay. The quarterback, the cheerleader, we've enjoyed today. Thank you for coming into our home. We'll be back again next week. Stay tuned now.